Breakout rooms are a powerful way to have students engage, practice, and apply knowledge in a collaborative environment. With Big Blue Button, you can easily and quickly create breakout rooms and invite viewers to join. Let's take a closer look now. To set up the breakout rooms, select the gear icon beside the users list. Then select Create Breakout Rooms. Next, configure the number of breakout rooms you want. Here you can choose between 2 to 24 breakout rooms. The minimum duration for breakout rooms is 5 minutes. Big Blue Button offers three different ways you can assign viewers to breakout rooms. You can click Randomly Assign to randomly and evenly assign viewers to the breakout rooms. This is great for getting students to work with a variety of different learning styles and personalities of peers in their class, helping to develop essential skills that are needed to successfully work with others. You can let students choose a breakout room by selecting Allow users to choose breakout rooms. When you select Create, students will be prompted to choose a breakout room. Finally, you can also drag and drop the names of students to place them in the correct breakout rooms. You can select the name of each breakout room, whether that's for creating group names for a class competition or labeling each group by task for better organization. When you're ready, select Create to launch the breakout rooms. Now that you've created the rooms, some viewers might join the session late. To invite late joiners to a breakout room, select Breakout Room Invitation and drag and drop the late participants to the target room. They will see an invitation. Now let's talk about how to manage the breakout rooms once you've created them. To manage your breakout rooms, select Breakout Rooms on the left. The Breakout Room panel will list all active breakout rooms, showing the number of students and their names in each room along with additional capabilities. If you have your microphone shared, you can easily join the audio in any breakout room. Select Join Audio. You can return your audio to the main room by selecting Return Audio. You will find it's very quick to jump between different breakout rooms. When you join audio, students will see your name appearing on the users list with a phone icon. To join the breakout room fully, click Ask to join and you'll join the breakout room in a new tab. In some cases, if the number of breakout rooms are small, you could use this feature to join multiple breakout rooms, one in each tab. In each room, you can decline to join the audio. At this point, you can monitor all the breakout rooms by shifting between your tabs or, if you have a large screen, place the window in a grid. This gives you a bird's eye view of all the breakout rooms at the same time. Below the list of rooms, you will see the remaining duration. Didn't set enough time at the start for the rooms? No worries. You can extend the room duration by selecting the Extend button by 5 minutes or longer. And as you can see, time has been added to the current duration across all breakout rooms. Finally, if you want to end all breakout rooms earlier, select End All Breakout Rooms to bring all participants back to the main room. Hope you enjoyed our How to Create and Manage Breakout Rooms video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.